what's going on guys? So uh, today I'm heading right now up the 400 to Midhurst uh, to go groom uh, trail for Snow Voyagers. So I'm going to the groomer shed right now. Uh, you guys might have seen the groomer shed before. Uh, a lot of people park there uh, to get hop on the trail to go riding. Uh, but I'm going on my first solo run tonight. Uh, so super exciting. I'm going to take you guys along for the ride, show you guys what it's all about, and hopefully motivate some of you to reach out to your snowmobile clubs, whether as asking to learn how to run the groomer and, and being a volunteer or a paid operator, or mo more so volunteering with your club to help pack trail, to help stake trail, to help sign trail, just all in all to help get trails ready for the season because we need more volunteers and we need them now. So uh, I will see you guys when we get to Midhurst. Okay, so I've arrived uh, at the groomer shed. Uh, just gonna go in, pull the bully out, and uh, then we'll hop in the groomer and go out and groom some trail. Okay, we're just about to head out. Got the groomer all ready to go. I'm grooming up the sea trail to the 416 and then going east from there. Uh, we'll see you guys on the trail. Okay, so we're out here on the sea trail, uh, heading north. There's the piston bully. And the trail's shaping up pretty nicely. Just doing some light, uh, some light panning uh, with a little bit of blade at the bot on the drag, but very little. Just uh, really with the back pan, just because we don't have that much snow. Uh, I don't want to dig it, dig down. We just want to get everything flat before the warm up tomorrow. So yeah, it's kind of hard to, uh, to record video while I'm running a groomer, but I'm going to try my best. As you guys should be able to see, uh, it's only a slight, uh, slight groom, as you can see, not being super aggressive on the drag, just because we do have limited snow, and I don't want to really eat down into the base. So just some nice light cutting, very light. Just making it nice and flat. Making some beautiful trail back there. Now we have, we have a little bit of snow in the bush here, so it makes a nice ribbon like everyone wants to see. Just trucking along here, I'm on the 416 and I'm heading for the B Trail. Laying down some ribbon here in Snow Voyager's territory. Still on the 416, we just passed the 415 and now we're heading off uh, continuing on to the B Trail. Things are really shaping up nicely so far on the 416. Most of it has had enough snow to kind of make, make a good trail. So trying to get everything flattened out, but seems to be looking pretty good. I don't know, you tell me. I am a first timer after all. I definitely have lots to learn, but um, yeah, I think I'm making a decent trail. Spoke to Mike, Mike's jealous of me. He's like, I want to learn. So, uh, we'll see. Maybe Mike will get into it eventually too. Sled addicts will become groomer operators. <laughs> but uh, it just goes to show you guys that volunteering can be a lot of fun. And uh, just because you're a sledder doesn't mean you can't help out. If every sledder helps out their club in some way, we're gonna have an unbelievable trail system that keeps going for generations to come. If it's just the old guys that are running the groomers and staking trail and signing trail, uh, then we're gonna have a problem real soon. So if you can, please get involved with your club. And who knows, maybe you could be making nice ribbon like this. There's still snow and berry. Look at these drifts. They just keep giving and giving and giving. Okay, so it's about 9.45. I just arrived at the intersection of the 416 
and the B Trail. Uh, and I just made my turnaround and I met the New Holland tractor. And there he is, that's Mike. So he's grooming the B Trail. I'm turning around and heading uh, back down the 416. There's my ribbon. It's not perfect, but there's not that much snow to work with. Uh, but yeah, so I'm stopping for a dinner break. I started at five, it's now quarter to 10. And then I'll start going back the way I came. This is the 416 to Orr Lake. I just got to Orr Lake and I turned around and I'm heading back. Take a look how she turned out. Looks pretty sweet to me. Now I just got told I'm gonna to be doing uh, the sea trail up to the 309 where uh, that's Georgian Bay Snow Riders. So another 10K on my run tonight, but I'm having fun. Piston bully. Okay, back to grooming. Look at this crazy drifting on the trail. I just groomed it. It doesn't even look like I groomed it. You can see it all slowly coming in from the side. I can hardly see behind me because of all the snow dust. <laughs> Not doing too bad. Still on the uh, 415 now. Just coming back from the B trail. But as you can see, don't really think I could do better than this. It's as if it was one groomer pass. And it's rock solid. Hardly a footprint. Okay. It's almost 1 a.m. Probably still have another couple hours. <laughs> so I'll be home, middle of the night. Back in the seat. Okay, so I just got back to the shop. It's about quarter to five in the morning. I just finished uh, filling diesel. Just threw all of my stuff in my car and now I'm gonna go put this thing in the shed over there and then head home. What a night, been out since uh, five o'clock. It's almost five, so almost a 12 hour ship basically. What ended up, what ended up taking so long was uh, I ended up grooming uh, Georgian Bay's um, section of the sea trail all the way up to the 309. Uh, so I did that and that added a good two hours onto my run, but uh, good time nonetheless. Uh, first solo run success, no issues, and uh, time to go to bed. Thanks for watching, guys. If you liked that video, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe to the Sled Addicts YouTube channel, where we release content on everything snowmobiles. Also, hit that bell icon so you can be updated every time we release new videos.